Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to Old World Blues. I'm your host, Mr. Mokulover. And right now, we're looking at Kaizo's Legion because... I don't know why. Uh, regardless, we're currently at war, but let's finish up this focus called the Consigliere's, which I can't remember whether it's or not, but... The Fiends were given a new identity by House, that of the Consigliere's. Stabbed after the Sicilian mob, they are the new tough men of Vegas, a violent bunch who outdo all other gangs when it comes to sheer intimidation and debaucherous lifestyles. They're led by the Muta Runner, who refuses to abandon his old name so that people who don't get who he was before he started playing nice. Very, very nice. Alright, so someone left in the comments yesterday saying that we should probably just, like, spread ourselves back a little bit, go back a little bit, and let them come in so then we, we can attack them and be maybe a little bit more successful. But let's go ahead and we gotta get, first of all, some Omertas, as well as some Skull and Suits. But how about we secure the North? Westside might be a safe place these days, but Vegas is bigger than Westside. Bigger than any side, and the Kings intend to make sure that everyone knows it. They're just throwing caps at that area, clearing out rubble, setting up defense barricades. Some say they're getting ready for war, others think they're just a bunch of nice guys. So, let them come on in, give ourselves a little bit more entrenchment, and, well, yep, here they come. So, they'll go one, two, three. So, hopefully, we can go into this little towel here as a, where did the division go? Um... Well, they're doing the same thing again. Do we have to back up some more? This is, was recommended by one of you guys for me to do. One, two, three, four, maybe? What they like to do that? I mean, we got time. After this, we'll probably go to war with... Eh, maybe not the White Legs. Maybe the Sky Reavers. Maybe those guys. Let's take a look. What well, are they going to do it? Ah, yes, they will. You know, they're going to abandon the style as well. But we shall see. And... Nice. Cool. Very smart, very smart from you guys. Just move all both boys in there, and let's see. Let's upgrade ourselves. We got enough manpower for a while. It's pretty nice. Other comments. Let's see. Someone recommended. Am I ever gonna play like Fallout New Vegas on this channel? Uh, I actually really wanted to a, a long time ago. I was planning on it actually, but then I just kind of fell through with it. So I'd like to, but we'll see what happens. We'll see if it, what happens. Um, I don't know. Time is always short, but we'll see. Just because I like to keep a regular schedule at all times. Let's go ahead and grab Angela, Mr. New Vegas, Duke, Nero. Uh, let's double check. We need to get Nero as well as Motor Runner. So, Nero it is. Lose a little bit more stability, but hey, whatever. Get more resource efficiency gain, which we actually don't need right now. Whatever. But that's okay. Oh, another division. Look at that. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Also, off screen, I did go ahead and core the Northern Passage just because we could core another slot. So, I figured, why not? All right, so this should make it a little bit easier for us to do here. Let's go in, have a good time, get rid of these fine, fine folks. Uh, I'll send all of you guys this way. Just go straight for the capital. Bomb station in numero 002. Thank you. Alrighty, and you guys head up here too. See what type of damage we can do against these five whole divisions. We've lost about 100 guys, which is about 1,500. Not too bad, I would say. Oh, I thought, yeah, all of you guys are supposed to be there. Uh, you can go right there too. Max and Chapter Clear War in Robot City. Goodbye. Oh, they do have a port there, which is not good. They have a port? Oh, they actually do have a port here, huh? Well, at least those guys are completely encircled and trapped. And... Bye-bye. Oh, Goodbye. Alright, so in addition. So we got that. We've killed off 1,800. Not bad, not bad. I need all y'all to go all the way up there. And I think maybe Area 51 is next. Because that could put us a war with 80. So we'll see what happens. Oh my goodness, this takes so long to get more political power. Breaking my heart that way. So much longer. But let's grab some of this first, I guess. BDQ 88B bullet. Nice. Very nice. Let's see. Robots. How are we doing with robotos? Heavy lifters? Might as well, right? We'll have these guys done and dusted with very, very soon. And then. Nice. Good work, those folks. Um, also, it, it looked a little well weird, but. The Arthurian, Art, Arthurian, Arthurian brother also got this area up here. I don't think they usually get this, point green. But now they're at war with the Enclave. Okay, this is very weird, but this is pretty normal that the Enclave can go this way. I'm not sure why they went to war with them already, but... Hey, you never know. But also, yeah, as a reminder, I did leave on Wild Wasteland in the rule setting. Just to experiment with it. Just to see what would happen. So, Death Claws ate some of our team. And thank goodness the sleepers are gone. Goodbye, sleepers. Oh, that's so sad.
Slightly more factories, not bad. Oh, the comment said, someone was a little disappointed that I did not use the new submod that's out that came out like January 16th, 2021. It's called the Old World Blues New Vegas Submod Version 2, The House and Securitron, which I didn't know about. Like, if you guys find new submods, especially for Old World Blues, please, please, please let me know. And I might play them on the channel just because, I don't know, it's always fun finding submods. Like, uh, the old mod compilation or the Sweet Home California. But, addiction for sale. Jet sells, S3X sells, Mentat sells, everything buys. I tell you about that you're not supposed to do to have in this life, so it's pretty darn well. And there's no doubt as to which Bastion of Ice is the best place to get it on the <clears throat> strip. Other comments include uh, someone recommended or thought that when whenever you play, you know, as New Vegas, when you have Mr. House here, that he should probably start off in advance with advanced robotics, because, you know, right here, with, ro with robotics, right here, we're only civilized, or have, we have settler robotics tech, we don't have scientific robotics tech, which is kind of disappointing. Actually, but someone also commented that like he eventually gets it advanced, I think, clean the suburbs, the vault, the platinum chip, um, economic miracle, Jane's comfort, prepare the city, a uh, new world order, segregate Vegas. Um, it might be here somewhere. I'm not really sure. Broken steel, Helios reborn, control the dam, architect of destiny. So he, oh, the, yeah, he does get, he does eventually become advanced, and he gets two research slots. Heck, I'm gonna just play. This one, this with that mod, sometimes just to get that and two extra research slots. Holy crap, that's really, really, really strong. Oh, yeah, and we do have our circuit run, so eventually he needs more time to work with it. We'll put it like that, probably. And let's see, uh, not bad since we're here. Just go ahead and do this as well. When's the next research done? Just keep an eye on it. Oh, in about a little more than two weeks. So, another comment from yesterday said that we should have gone with the cons. Which, uh, you know, we didn't go to the cons. We went to Omertas this time. But other, uh, some other people also recommended that we should go down with the fiends, the cons, as well as the kings to be as non-canonical as possible. Uh, so pretty much I do plan on playing New Vegas again, especially with that mod, the sub-mod I just mentioned. Cause it adds a few more things to this. Uh, maybe makes it a little more interesting, especially with Mr. House. So if there's enough support, I will go ahead and try the non-canonical route with him, maybe. Maybe not. We'll see what happens. But if you guys recommend it, you know, with, ooh, oh, hang dogs, cool. Consigliere's, the false cons, as well as the kings, because eventually you can integrate the conate, so it's kind of cool. And let's see, what do we have? Backyard workshops would be pretty darn nice, especially since we're lacking a lot of stuff. We probably want to grab some more electrical extraction. There goes New Canaan. That's big sadness. Yeah, we got to make a bigger army. We just don't have enough divisions. Hmm, kind of sucks. Uh, 10 combat width. We're currently using these fine, fine folks. Infantry Division 2 are 16 combat width. I don't mind making, at least for now, an army of... A small army, not a big army, but a small army of infantry. So, mild muggers, you're coming on out. And, RK Ganon, you're human. Even though, we should probably use Victor. I'll save him for the other robot army we get. RK Ganon. And we shall choose... Uh, Nerd Rage. I don't want to choose either one because we uh, we might convince him to become a robotics expert later on. So we'll see what happens. And up next, we need to grab skulls and suits. We need high, military high commander Mota Runner. Oh, not bad. And which we shall do skulls and suits. The consigliere's aren't allowed to wear or display bones of humans, but that doesn't stop them from displaying bones. Brahmin skulls, gecko fangs, deathclaw fingers, and a thousand other morbid oddities decorate these vicious mafiosos. Most people are scared of them, and so far as they are concerned, that's a gosh darn good, good thing. Divide and conquer. Disturbing rumors have been circulating on the strip for the last few days. Rumors of dark money and illegal weapons being smuggled across Vegas' mighty walls. According to the few sober sources we can find, it seems that the weapons are being run to a variety of no Vegas' families for seemingly little reason. The origins of these weapons and caps seems even tougher to find, but we have some reason to believe the guns may come from none other than NCR Rangers themselves. And these facts can be corroborated. The buzz is a serious change in policy from the Mojave territories and may even indicate an attempted coup is on the horizon, nevertheless regardless. The weapons threatened to destabilize the delicate balance of power between the New Vegas families. We best be careful. Um, do the Desert Rangers actually have a focus like that? To destabilize New Vegas or something? Down? I forget. Let's see. Hands of Leadership, California Recruits, and Sir Funding. Um, not seeing too much down there. And the Mojave Territories. I forget. I have played Mojave Territories before, I believe. 
Yeah, I did. I have. Because you can do Victory of the Dam, Long March Home. You can do Supply and Demand. Or, and as well as that one, Submit Ol Oliver's Authority. Uh, I think Oliver did win. Yeah, he did win. So, Mojave Line. Does that really affect us? I can't remember. I'll be honest. I really can't remember. Uh, War Plan. So, regardless, it doesn't really matter. We'll probably end up beating him up. But let's choose our next focus, shall we? And which kill a cologne? You kill a cologne is something of a hit on the hit on the streets. No one knows what the fiends make it from, but everyone agrees it smells a little bit like mud fruit and a little bit like blood. Regardless, it's hit on the streets of New Vegas, and any guy or gal's worth thing is wearing it. We get more attack and defense on core territory. Justify World Ghost Times goes up by ten percent. Honestly, everything nothing not too much else has really happened off screen. Nothing too crazy or wild just yet. Even though we're still waiting to take out the good old Sky Riverinos up north. There was another comment though. Actually, Max and Chapter is looking kind of thick. I think haven't I already played Max and Chapter? I think I have. Maybe I haven't. Maybe I have. I think I have. I can't remember. I played so much Overwatch Blues before. There was another couple of comments uh, saying for me to play as or play in TNO, China and the National Protection Army, National Protection Alliance, Liberation Alliance, something like that. I'll get there. I know China's on the list. It's not high on the list, but at the time of recording, I definitely will have to play as China eventually. Like. I promise I will. Eventually. Tiano's got so many different nations to play as, so... We'll definitely be getting there. So, let's actually... Let's go and build some more uh, military factories as well, because we could really, really use some. We need more planes. We definitely need more bots. Definitely get more bots as well. Which would be kind of nice. 1.48 a day. A few less than that a week for that one. And, let's see. Can we actually do... Yeah, we can do that one. So that's pretty good. Now we can choose whoever we want. Old Roll Blues. Nothing was found. They stare into the what was gutting... Guttering and spent. Oh boy. Followed up with what? Oh, yep. Refined tools, not bad. Happy 2078, everyone. Hope you're having a great, great year. Metro High Command, Arm Politeness. That's something I almost never choose. How about we go along with Duke? That actually wouldn't be too bad getting that one. Oh, we can go to war. I love it. I love war. The chairman, of course, Philippe. Like a society, so it looks like we can only choose this one. Uh, you know what? We don't have to spend political power. If we don't have to, we don't We don't have to, so... Actually, this wouldn't be too bad. Because I still would like to core Bitter Springs, so... Let's wait to core that. And what happens if we just go to war immediately? Like, can we do... Uh, they attack us? Please don't lose here. Um, you know what? We'll let them attack us like crazy. And after this, it's either... Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is definitely expanding the border we have with the NCR. And or the 80s. So I think it might be best to leave those guys alone. And instead justify on dead horses. Why? Uh, because... Uh, actually, how long is that going to take? 175 days. Holy crap. That's a long time. Uh, regardless, let's do, let's do the mobster army. The old mobsters are always packing heat, explosives, and a thousand other nasty little things. When come push comes to shove, they are the closest thing any New Vegas family has to an army. Countless men looking to prove themselves. But I won't go to war with them just because... I'm waiting, I'll wait for the white legs in the 80s to kill each other first, and then we'll pretty much beat up whoever's stronger, and, you know, have a good time with them that way. I'm actually really surprised they're still attacking us so much here. So that's why we should go just to keep expanding this way out. But of course, we need to uh, core this first, 123, 124, actually, 123 political power. I'm not going to expand yet, because if we try to take these guys over, that adds to our population, which inflates or increases the amount of political power that we need to, you know, core. So we're going to wait just a little bit longer. 28 versus 900. I can't really complain about that. So, Bitter Springs, welcome aboard. Not that much more manpower. That's all right. Maybe we got two more factories. Okay, not bad, not bad. Could be better. Could, of course, be better. Oh, we have 6.71 a week. Also, you know what? I'll just say it for, for here. Just It's not really a big announcement, but um, hopefully, in the near future, at the time of this recording, uh, the, my ability to run Hoi 4 and get more videos out should potentially increase. I'm just saying that just because I'm looking into getting stronger CPU for my computer. Currently I'm running a 1700X Ryzen 7, 7, Ryzen 7 1700X, so I'm looking to upgrade that, you know, relatively soon. Well, actually pretty darn soon. A song from the front! New Vegas forces have fought heroically against their enemies and one of our soldiers to compose a little poem from the front. We can play this throughout the nation to rally the nation to the cause. Well, I would love to grab the political power. It's a little more difficult to get some more war support, so I'm going to grab the war support first. That's why we can actually get some more command power, even though it's not really needed just yet, so. They really just love killing off their own manpower. Besides, it doesn't even matter if we attack, since we need to spend so much more time getting our oh, land auction done, of course. But as well as... Ooh, Age of the Machine, very nice. 
uh, just justifying other people doing our land auction. Actually, you know, let's, we, we can go ahead and read the next one, probably, right? We can probably go, oh, we get political power if we do the Lucky 38 Opens, because we need to do that one to get down to opening in the Strip, because we love stripping. The most prominent element of New Vegas skyline, the Lucky 38, is a pre-war relic and an enduring monument to Mr. House's vision of Las Vegas. Luxury without decadence, refined without elitism, class without sn sn snobbery. Which, 100 political power, oh, Enclave goes to war with Vault City. Nice. Alrighty. Oh, look at that. Con saves. We, lo we lost some stability, but that's alright. Hey, more military factories. Nice. Very good, actually. We do need to get some more electricity, though. I don't want to forget that. And these guys usually take a little bit more time to actually build, so we want to get those guys done as well. And we want that. We want more planes. I think I think we're doing really quite well, I'd say. 49. Oh. Oh. There you go. I was not even using you guys. Fault. Okay. Wow, the Enclave has won very quickly. I love it. I need to play this Kamalt Station sometime, too. I've done the left path. I've done the right path. I remember them. Oh, wait, not Kimmelt Station. I mean Bone Dancers. I've never played this Kimmelt Station. Maybe we should try them, even though they have, a unique, or they have a generic focus. Not a unique one, but a generic one. Monoplane Attackers, not bad. Let's grab some engine advancements. It's not that ahead of time. Not as well, right? What do we have here? Triplane Attackers, Monoplane Attackies. Yes, please. Yeah, we could use more resources. You know, as long as they want to, they can keep killing themselves on the line. We've lost less than 100 guys versus 3,200. Um, I'm going to imagine they're probably out of manpower by now. Yep, they're out of manpower. Very nice. And stockpile-wise, they are... They're running... Actually, they have quite... Do they have Uzis? Are those Uzis? Not bad. Very nice. Once we take them out, we get all the equipment, even though we're not going to be using it too much. Just enough. Though. We should probably upgrade our logistic companies because we're actually still using them. Oh, actually, do we have a... No, that's a penalty, so let's grab some more advanced generators because we will need that eventually. And then we can... Actually, if we do advanced generators, I usually don't focus on this too much. But we can go ahead and grab fabrication factories too, which would be pretty darn nice. And actually, by defending, our generals should be learning more, right? Oh, did we just get another... Oh, oh we got two more divisions. Or two divisions. Actually, we're looking a little bit more... Are we, are we normal on the screen? I'm sorry, like... I took a little break between the fade and fade out, so... I guess my mind is just going crazy. Uh, core on this, is it really worth it? Probably not too much, but you know what? That's the only way we can core areas of this way, so I'm really not too worried about coring this. Even though we could get, like, Toljinsky Engineering, which would be nice and all, but hey. How about Robco Reborn? Robco Industries was one of the largest and most influential computer and robotics operations in the pre-war U.S. With these countless facilities scattered across New Vegas, one can find the potential to create an endless host of automatons. Oh, yes, please. Ah, you know what? Screw it. We'll get Tulchinsky Engineering, because even though we're building airports around here, hmm, we can still build some of these, too. Oh, are they done attacking, finally? Uh, what if you guys try to attack? Did you win? Yes. And maybe yes. Of course, we are using our air support, so that shouldn't be too bad. Uh, Muscle Court 2, why not? Radio. Let's grab some decryption. Thank you. If you'd like to... Oh, they're doing... Look at that. They're doing last stand. Organization is not dropping, but their strength is maybe 34, 30... Oh, wow. Now it's dropping. Oof. Holy crap. Yeah. I, I, I don't say... I wouldn't say I love it, but it's interesting watching the AI actually do last stand, because I do it, and sometimes I fail with it, and I lose too many guys, so... It's interesting watching them use it. They're quite interesting, I would say. Alright, not bad. I mean, I think we're doing quite well. Obviously, we don't have nearly enough robots. But, we're working on it. Especially as we're making more robots, so that's not too bad. Mm, Area 51 would be, would be nice. As long as the Wild Legs don't want to come fight us. Because that would be pretty bad. Ooh, there goes those guys. I assume he plays Lannis at the time of this recording. I will get to it eventually. I promise. I, I promise. So. Cool, not bad. Thank you very much. Thanks for playing. I would like to core Area 51. Resistance, really? Let's see. Oh, a little bit of lag. Demand tribute? Um, nah, we, won't, we ain't gonna be pushed around. Just saying. Iron Mongers, Play War, and Eden. Let's grab not that. Engineering industry. And irrigation, shall we? And how much longer must we wait? Oh, yeah. Only 10 days. That's not too bad. Frequency analysis. Let's grab some polyalphabetic ciphers. And maybe we should focus just slightly more on making... Well, actually, Infantry Division 2 is where it's at. Uh, 
for now. There you go. We're going to make a few more, just because eventually we are going to get pierced, and that's going to be quite bad for us. These guys have 14 and a half armor. These guys actually have more, huh? And the 20 combat with guys over here are 17, so... Eventually, it's not going to be worth doing what we're doing. So making some infantry is always good to do as well, so... These guys can pierce us already, so we actually might want to put some more soldiers around there. Or at least put them in New Vegas for now. You never know. And there you go. Nice. So we can go to war whenever. Oh, we're actually looking okay, though. we got quite a few caps. Send out some manual prospectors. Investigate some rumors. Oh, yeah, we'll try it. Some other people have heard rumors about structures out in the middle of nowhere. Wrecks of metal. Towering buildings made from concrete. We shall try, shall we? Yes, we shall. And, oh, this will definitely help us build more robots. But I want to go ahead and try to do the needy over the rich. We need to ensure that the most weak and pathetic of us are cared for rather than the most well-off. That's probably a good idea for now. Uh, are you kidding me, man? Mormons. New Canaan. You just gobbled him up? What? You, you just gobbled him up. Why'd you gobble gobble? And now I've justified on them, and now they're probably just going to go ahead and get killed by these guys, too. Uh, that puts us in a tighter position. They don't even have cores. The Canaanite in XL. It's one thing if they had cores, but... Hmm. I don't like that. I really do not like that. I was ready to go to war with those guys. Now we're trapped between Mojave Territories, the NCR, the Desert Rangers, the 80s, the White Legs... Or New Canaanites. And this is literally the only area here that might be possible for us to take them out. Mm. Okay, so at this point in this campaign, we got Age of Machines, which is nice. Follow the alphabetic surface. So we're done with our land auction. Cool. Uh, we could grab that, but I don't feel like it yet. I'll focus just more, more on planes. Maybe not. Let's grab some of this, maybe. And we'll grab some of this arenas as well. Oh, that's so annoying. Oh, uh-oh. They're slightly stronger here now, but if the Shi'ar and the NCR, that's not good. No, yeah, they are. That's not good. Yeah, there goes the in Brotherhood. Well, the Nevada Enclave has its own faction, which is kind of nice, too. Oh, wait! Nevada back. Desert Rangers? Oh, wait. Begin Ranger Deal. Oh. Wait, which way did they go? They must have went the Nevada pack, then. Hmm. Does that mean they want to come... Will they invite me? Do they want to come take me out? It's a little bit ahead of time. Let's grab some of this then. Um, okay, I was not expecting that. The Mormon Alliance. Oh, God. Who's si white sails for the white legs? S oh, oh, they're swinging north. What does that mean? I forget. I played the 80s once. Oh, they're going to go up that way. Uh, it'll be interesting to see whether they do the second Nevada Road War, or they'll do the yet another Utah Road War. It'll be interesting to see which way they go. There goes Glory Falls. I don't think we really care, though. Oh, yeah, Ejercito Mexicano. Oh, wow, look at those Ironmongers. They're looking pretty good. But they need you over the rich. <sighs> Opening the strip. Oh, we need, yeah. For far too long. House. Let's get the strip segregated from the rest of Vegas. So, in fact, that the cultural differences between the strip and free are a big cause of concern when it comes to the theoretical opening of the gates. How should we go about this? Well, we just finished recycling, but should we open the strip? NF underscore Vegas dot 67 dot desk. Let's do this over a few years so we get more development for New Vegas. Or, we need to do this now. Open the gates. Well, let's take a look at New Vegas currently. Well, we're currently at what level? Level 10, so adding more development means literally nothing, so we might as well do this now and open the gates to the masses. Let's grab some more technology with industrial fertilizer. Let's grab some scrap shacks, because we can. And after that, free side for free side for Mojave Territories, or Mojave Alliance. It's not a bad idea. We'll create our own faction. Not a bad idea, but let's do revitalize Freeside first. The Strip uh, may be the wealthiest portion of New Vegas, but its people and its souls live in Freeside with innumerable lesser shops and small homesteads. Offer them proper funding shall surely win over the love of the people of New Vegas. Now, right now, we were justifying a new Canaan, or Canaan in exile, but as you can see right there, they ain't having a good time. They're getting taken out by the Crazy Horns, which I think they went to war with the Crazy Horns, so I'm like, okay, screw it. We're just going to go to war with the Desert Rangers, because it seems like they're going to go by themselves, which is fine with me. They didn't invite me to join them, and they're by themselves, and 
Ranger Citadel will actually be really nice to have to have as a second trade gnome. So taking them out would probably be really, really good. As long as you're not guaranteed by the NCR, which we still got about 50 days left. But if we take them out, defend for now, that'd be really great. We're trying to train our soldiers for currently. We got some militia training. Let's grab some of this for infantry, which does not include robots. Hmm. But <coughs> anyways, uh, let's see. Also off screen, I have grabbed the defensive protocol, so we get a reserve AI just to help our defense just a little bit more. Slightly, slightly more max entrenchment, which won't do a lot more. But security robots do get more hardness. I also chose this because we most likely, I most likely never choose this one. I usually prefer doing the offensive uh, protocol, dude. So we'll see what happens. Also, I've upgraded our light robots to all be at least 20 combat width. So we've only two different types of robots we're using here. Eventually, I will switch out and make sure we only use secure trend divisions, which we do need to edit a little bit more, which is looking not great. We do need to make them 40 combat width. Organization isn't bad, but. Just industrially, we need more factories, even though I'm focusing more on infrastructure right now, so then we can build more factories up as well, so it is what it is. In addition, I would like to core, I guess at this point we're going to go up north, so instead of going with the western, well actually we did the western Grand Canyon, we still need to do the eastern Grand Canyon, which wouldn't be bad actually, because we do get some circuitry, but I would like to do the desert pass, so we can basically immediately do Area 51, which would be pretty darn good. Oh, hey, actually they sent a white piece. Over here, huh? Interesting. Maybe it doesn't happen. Okay, cool. Very cool. More sand. Uh, New Vegas scouts have turned up nothing in the deserts of southern Nevada, although some of our men have reported flickering lights in the sky, night, and menacing figures in their dreams. The only thing they found are pre-war tourist, tourist traps. So this is starting to look like, a, look like a waste of time. Perhaps we should have gone to New Vegas instead? I hate sand. It's coarse and gets everywhere. Oh, boy. Revitalize free side. Let's see. Investigate rumors again because he can, because we have to, basically, because we can. And then Vault 21. The vault below New Vegas is a source of great pride for the people of New Vegas, yet it can also be a source of great wealth. The secrets and resources in its lower levels are vast and important, yet it can be easily be made into a simple and affordable method of housing the best clientele. Not bad, as you can tell, we're trying to go as fast as we possibly can right now. Uh, do I make these guys 20 combat with or 40 combat with? 20 combat with might just be better. Oh, we can go to Deep Springs anyway. Scrap Jack's not bad. Ooh, basically has a weaponry too. Not bad. I like it. I like it a lot. We have no special forces. We could use these guys. Uh, oh, we can grab this one because we can for now. We'll get grabbing some of that. Let's grab some doggos. Yeah, I'll grab some logistics first because we're using them first. We got plenty enough guns for quite a while. We just need more research. Oh, good lord. We need some more equipment. Well, let's see what happens with these guys. They immediately attack us, which is what I was hoping for, expecting, which is very, very nice. We will need to get some more political power, or, well, yeah, more political power, obviously. But more energy cells, we only get 1.2 political power every day, which really, really sucks. Uh, doggos, why not? We can't afford it, but why not? Good God, we need to get more resources. Uh, we're on discouraged traders already. I would like to distrust outsiders, we got a lot of people support, don't we? Woof! Oh, there was one person I was going to choose here. We could use more resource efficiency gain. Yeah, Duke. More capacity, 10% more energy cell gain per energy. Might as well, I suppose. I think we're already importing some energy, aren't we? I thought we were. Like we go with four. There we go. That should help fill us up a little bit better. Hopefully we don't lose here. That would be quite unfortunate if we were to lose. Arcade Ganon, I might throw you up here as well. Yeah, we just don't have enough robots to do a good amount of damage yet. If we lose a few more men, so be it. That's fine with me. They've already lost about 800. Roughly 800, so that's not too bad. Yeah, throw the guys in there. They're definitely going to need some help, even though the infantry isn't great, but they're good in defense. Oh, crap. Oh, no, no. Well, which territory do they want? Um, You know what? Because uh, they're the Mojave. They're ally I can't fight the NCR right now. Ooh. Are they going to take out New Vegas eventually? Oh, they're, they're summoning Oliver's authority. Well, let's see. How about Vegas? Dude, was a turning call at the second draft. Um, divide and conquer. Oh, so that's what they did. Family diplomacy. Okay, that makes sense. They already did this one. Okay. Call it the second draft. Interesting. The fall of New Vegas is under the occupation as neither part. Okay. Well then, let's take a quick look here again. An offer? Should we fight New Vegas? If he is in power, we can come to some sort of agreement. 
Oh, that's not gonna be good. Oh, it's not good. Um, yeah, we gotta focus on them. I'm just gonna give it to them, just because I can't fight the NCR right now. So, Vault 3. You know what? We lost maybe a factory or two. But you know what? That's a lot more resistance they have to deal with. And hopefully the Legion will end up fighting these guys. I, we can't afford to do that. So this is one of the rare times where I actually will give up territory. Wow. Alright, so let's build up the infrastructure as fast as possible so we can build more military factories. And more energy stations. That would be really good. Actually, two. Very, very nice. Nice. Oh, there goes Plymouth too. As long as we're winning. That's the, that's the main goal. That's why I'm taking these guys out as well. Win, win, win as much as we possibly can right now. Good god, these robots suck. Oof. I'll get to have some infantry armor too. Let's go and use them as well. Someone might remind me in the comments to use dogs in our divisions, which would be pretty smart. Two more infantry divisions. Nice. Very good. And last time I went with war support, but this time I think I'll go with more political powers, so we'll do that. Anything else here? Nope. And how much will this cost? 113. That's not bad. We've lost 93 versus 1,000. Now, the Desert Rangers have no shortage of manpower. they got plenty enough. But the fault, the fate of Vault... The fate of Vault 21. Uh, Vault 21 was a pre-war experiment set up by Vault Tech to observe a society based around gambling would function in isolation. Surprisingly, unlike numerous horror stories found in the wasteland, the boss, this vault got by without complications due to its good condition of living inhabitants. There are two options for what can be done with the vault. It could be stripped of all its usefulness of useful resources and tech, or it could be converted into a large casino and hotel of its own. Convert it. Middle class clientele, 20, Vault 21 Hotel and Casino. More population, less stability, more war support. Or strip it. Oh, as much as I want to grab that, I kind of want to convert. You get more population, which we don't necessarily need. I like stripping or stripping it. Um, hmm, it doesn't give us more energy, which is what we need, but we could use more circuitry. But if you take out these guys, the Desert Rangers, we get enough circuitry as is for now. So I want to, I want to convert it. I think middle class clientele, strip it. Yeah, we'll go with that one. Cool. What else do we have? Kickstart in Vegas, armed workshops, support equipment goes down. What do you have? Oh, what is that? Wow. Kickstart Vegas. There are dozens of little shops and smaller casinos decorating Vegas, and among them, an insurmountable number of poor and impoverished people. But in these shops, they may have to employ those people who would help kickstart what little economy is that isn't dependent on tourism that we have. Cool. Good luck, guys. Hire foreign heroes. Nice. Watch out for spies as well. Yeah, keep building some energy stuff, because we're, we're pretty much flat out. Yeah, I don't want to trade with you. I'm going to trade with the Legion. There you go. Now that should help su supply that for for now. It's not like we're using a lot of robots currently. 15 divisions is quite a bit, but hey, whatever. 141, Arc again and falls ill. At least he's learning. We've cut off 1600, and we are using a lot of planes too, so we don't forget about that. But let's go ahead and course another piece of territory. That'd be kind of nice. Oh, no. Oh, we need a little more compliance here. That's fine. North Passage, of course, is ours. Meadow Valley. Gorilla Tactics would be nice. Uh, but you might as well grab that one. Anyways. 41. Alright, guys. Come on. Of course, then again, I mean, we lost some of our abilities to wage war up here, so... Because of our planes... Really not looking good. They found something nice. Bonus to air tech. Good. Alright. No energy, huh? Coyote Springs. But this one is so good because it gives you all three of these. Area 6 was also very nice to do for resources. So. Oh, we get another factory immediately. I want Area 51 because it's so good. Who did that one for sale? Oh, crap. They actually beat us? How? No way. No, 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 no. You gotta take him out. Take him out. There's no stopping here. Actually. What if you guys went this way? There you go. Ah, that's not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. Alright, so at this point... Man, this really sucks. One, two, three. More energy. More, 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 more. Go, 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 go. Oh, we couldn't beat him back. Are you kidding me, man? We should have waited. We should have waited, maybe. Uh, grab some of that, too. Go ahead and hold. Get our energy back. Let them attack us again. 
let them come in. Actually, that's probably much a much smarter idea. Actually, let them come in and then we'll beat them up. So one, yep, game. One, two, three, four. Spread yourselves out. Get some trained mongrels. Uh, grab some more training programs. Energy. Oh, come on, Legion man. I don't want to trade with. I'm not gonna trade with them. Nope. I refuse to trade with them. And Legion, nice. Uh, that's the wrong one, guys. Let them come into here, and then hopefully we try to backstab them. Maybe. Yeah, I'm not interested in that stuff. Anything else? We've got plenty of money. They have one guy in here, which let's let them move a, a few more guys into here first. And then we're going to attack that way. They still have quite a few divisions in there. We've lost about how many? Maybe 500? No, oh, less than 300. Not bad. They still have quite a few divisions in here. So be it. And okay. This is much easier to defend this way when they have, they're have they attacking all sorts of different things. Kickstart Vegas. Mojave Alliance walls in New Vegas. Yeah, we could probably use that. New Vegas is a coveted location. Even now, the NCR and Legion make moves to divide force control with the wills and thoughts of its rulers and people be darned. Protecting the city is a priority to all who care for such things, and protecting the city is exactly what we intend to do. Yeah, this actually should get us a lot more army XP. Or even air XP as well. Which we should probably develop our planes a little bit more. That's a good amount of uh, damage we're doing. Obviously, not enough, but we'll get there. As long as we don't lose. And get overran. Oh boy, I do not want to get overran. That's one of the things I hate the most. There you go, RK again. Travel scout kits, because we can. Flight stuff, let's grab some of you, because we can. And get some more output, output next, after this. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Troll Warren Kimmelt Station. Nice, so both the armies have it, just in case they need it. Oh, Ranger Citadel. They might be mobilizing more, actually, to Lux of the Mines. Goodbye. Stockpile-wise, they're doing okay. They're definitely doing okay. Nice. Come on, guys. Keep attacking me. See what you can do. What we could do is just attack them all here, and then push them back, and then let them come back in. That's one strategy we could try. Anything else? Not really. Not too much, no. I'm going to try command. Planning. Planning is just not good enough, I think. Reinforcer is not bad. Defense. You know what? I'm probably going to go with defense just because it's something I don't normally choose. And that would help our robots a little bit more. Slightly more recovery rate, too. So. And we could use it probably right now, anyways. Uh, throw one more up there because you can. Diplomatic training. Very cool. Awesome. Another division. Not bad. We could beat them up if we really, really wanted to. But let them waste their time on us. I mean, it's not like we're trying to go to war with anyone else. There's literally nothing else we could do. Because now the Mormons are getting killed by the Kaiser... Uh, not the Kaiser's Legion, but the Crazy Horns as well. Which I think the White Legs will attack them here anyways later on too. So... Oh god, that's a lot of resistance. Don't tell me you have no manpower. Oh, you still have a little bit. That's good. You guys have no, no manpower, though. Focus fire. Nice. Very good. Oh, more robotics. Get some more breakthrough. It sucks that we get trapped without getting going advanced. Mm. Screw it. How about we attack them? And then we just hold. And go, or just go back. Just beat them up because you can. Oh, we can kind of pierce them. They can pierce us. We can kind of pierce them. Not bad. And more sand, same thing. Oh, that sucks. That really sucks. Manor prospectors. Let's get rumors. Walls of Vegas. Cool. Let's go and grab some, some more stuff over here. First batch. The first batch of free, freshly minted Securitrons from the newly rebuilt facilities rolled out the belt just hours ago. While Securitrons isn't a, a new set in Vegas, or New Vegas, robots with a fresh coat of paint and shiny new weapons certainly, certainly are. Ah. Let them come on in and do it again. Wait, where are they going? Oh, someone else going to go to war with them or something? Are they shifting soldiers around? No? Hmm. Um... Oh, this is weird, but okay. Let's just go all the way up to there. Yeah, possible. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what they're doing, but hey, if they want to leave, I'm totally okay with that. 
Training programs would be nice. Dynamite would be good as well. Maintenance companies actually would be good as well for our robots too. Logistics and maintenance. So for you guys, I want you all to hold. Or you're just doing okay. You know what? Give me you guys. Just hold. That's okay. Let's get into that little area first. If you want, maybe we can do that. We might do it relatively okay. Don't tell me they're forcing the attack. No, they're not. That's good. No, that's good. Now, skill injection is pretty nice. Let's grab some more ground attack as we can. And then we'll grab some training stuffs. By training stuffs, I mean complicated circuitry. I want you guys to be able to split out right now. Yep, they're doing. Oh, they were doing last stand, maybe. I don't know. Or maybe we just suck. We might just suck. That's really not good for us since we're taking more attrition, which is just really not good. You know what? Robots, you go right ahead. You you tell them off. You tell them who's boss. Armor department. Because by doing this, well, it hurts ourselves quite a bit, but it hurts them quite a bit as well. Good. You guys should keep them in place for now. Just want to spread through here. Eight to nine thousand manpower. I can't imagine they have too much more equipment too. So, good, good, good. We're not getting all the resources we deserve for some reason. Not sure why. Legion. I don't mind training with the NCR. Maybe a little bit more, but that's pretty much all I'm going to give you. Yep, they they keep terminating it, so I'm done with them. I'm done with them at least. Uh, supply is so bad around here, though. Holy crap. Are you kidding me? Is it zero? Are you kidding me? That's so bad. That's so god awful. So bad. Seriously, either we gotta move out. We gotta get out of here. Can we actually win there? No. There is supplies just too bad. We got we gotta leave. Uh, I'll leave the infantry to cover the retreat. I just do not want my robots to get taken advantage of too much. Let them split out a little bit more. I want half you guys to leave in an orderly fashion. Get to Area 51. Move, 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 move. Let the infantry take the hits for now, if possible. Um, ask for a small loan. Cut our losses. That's fine. We got enough money. Yeah, that's really bad. Zero? Are you kidding me? How? Why? Handy servicemen, though. Mr. Handy Robots are util utility robots created by General Atomics International, with further development and designed by Robco Industries. Although they were designed as General Chorp Automatons, they're quite capable of defending themselves with their flamethrower and buzz saws. Nice. Yeah, we just need more robots. Never enough robots. Invisible ink. See us some technology. And now they're going to be attacking us like crazy, and we won't be able to defend ourselves, maybe? Because supply is just so god awful around here. Like, stop attacking so we can actually develop this place. Please, for the love of God, please. May 19th. It's not that bad, actually. But my goodness, is it bad. Whew! Alright, so how much anti tank do we have now? Okay, that's enough to put on our infantry equipment or infantry divisions. Yeah, without Mr. Vegas, Mr. Vegas, Mr. House here. It's definitely a little bit more difficult than normal. Oof. Victor, leading the charge. Cool. Um, ninja. Yeah, ninja's not bad. Infantry attack, infantry defense. Well, I'm not really using him for infantry, so. But hey, as long as we still do okay around here. It's May 14th. We should have at least one level of infrastructure here. That's good. Get at least one more level up here as well. That's not bad. 5,000 is not enough. But these are the Desert Rangers, which does take quite a while to do. Get more outputs. Nice. Let's see. Area 51 cooling system's nice. Get some combat robots because you can. And then we'll finally do some more uh, other things like that. Uh, get out of here too. Looks like the infantry should be able to hold out here regardless of what happens. So, Looks like RK Ganon, he's still a pretty good guy. Still able to somewhat hold out. Hopefully he'll become a desert fox or a hell spider and wear out the desert rangers. At least until we can build up enough infrastructure here. Holy crud, it's so bad. Maintenance companies, let's grab some more. Um, For you guys, I'm going to go ahead and just throw them on. Well, oh, we can't because we don't have enough army XP, of course. Why would we? God dang it, guys. 
All right, let's just pull the rest of you guys out. Because now we should have level three. Okay, I thought it was level two. Three is not bad. Keep working on it. We're making more military factories as well, even though we don't have enough circuitry, which really sucks. Train mongrels. Like, I'm all surprised I haven't gotten that one yet. And we can lower you by once. We need less, and there is still green production going on, so that's not too bad. Desert Rangers are a pain in the butt, not gonna lie. They're a little bit of a pain in the butt. Top tick, help guys out. Offensive armaments. Let's finally do this. Not that one, this one. Good. Let Arcade Ganon struggle a little bit. Any service men are nice. Gussie Sergeants. Mr. Gussie's a line of military robot models created by General Thomas International. It is a militarized version of the Type 1 Mr. Handy. Gutsy models are armed with a plasma gun, roughly equivalent to a plasma pistol, for long range combat. At close range, the robot relies on its flamethrower. Very good. And hopefully, even though I'm adding more, even more soldiers into there, actually, we don't have enough army speaking. God dang it. White claws, clear war. Yep, equal rock. Wait, white claws. So they're by themselves. Right? They went with the white claws one. So they went down the middle one. Not bad. So, they still can choose one of these three, so we'll see what happens. But they won't be joining the Legion, huh? Yep, they went to war with Crazy Horns. Good lord, that's a lot of people we got to take out later on. And they're still attacking. Makes sense. How much Ranger Operative captured? Good. we got ways of making them talk. Now, using these guys to attack, probably not a good idea. Oh, please don't lose here. Please don't lose. Come on, Arcade Ganon, learn something. Oh, uh, struggling is not a bad thing, but... Oh, do I want to do that? You know what? The AI does it. I'll do it too. Why not? And... Oh, wow. 300 already? If that's the case, I'm going to just... Let's just do this with one. We get more resources anyways, so... Or get it... Yeah, we actually do get more resources. That's nice. Nice. Wait, what are you guys do, doing here? 600 versus 6,000. That ain't enough. Come on. Hey, we got in there in time. Barely. 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 Oof. Are we running out of caps or something? How much caps we got? 700 or Good. Let them struggle against us. Yeah, those. that's some big white claws. Oof. Yeah. I'm surprised this casualty rate actually isn't any higher. Because it should honestly be higher at this point. So after Warband, alright, alright. We're level 5 here, not bad, not great, not bad. Alright, go and just hold. I'm going to take the next robot out. Supply. Uh, let's take a look at supply real quick. Is it the bottleneck that's bad? Incoming area modifiers. Resistance strength. Compliance strength. So control of incoming edge provinces. Deep springs, victory point. No, I think it's just the province itself. Which really just got awful. Okay, so at this point... You gotta hold yourselves. There's nothing we can do. Just hold yourselves. Because they're, they're killing their own manpower off, hopefully. Let's hope to God that they're killing off their own manpower. We can't afford to lose this area, so. I don't mind losing this towel, but this towel, no. Because it would, would jeopardize this towel as well, so. 16, do it again. And maintenance. Uh, let's grab some more of this, too. That would help, maybe. Yeah, they should be losing way more than what they're losing currently. More set. God, that's such a waste of time doing Area 51 then. We want to. We could probably go and retreat right here. Well, once they're done with Last Stand, of course. They could still win, though. They could still win. And. Robotic strategist? Why not? Robo brands are multi-purpose robots. Their memories in this program are stored inside an organic and partially organic brain contained in a dome shell atop the chassis. They're considered intuitively superior to most robots as human brains allow them to a wider range of responses and functions. Go ahead and retreat. You guys are doing okay. If we lose here too, that actually is kind of regrettable just because we can't build up any more supply in here, which is just really not ideal. Interrogation techniques ain't too bad. Just don't lose. What What did I just say? Don't lose. We've lost almost a thousand. Versus, should be honestly 20,000 by this point, but whatever. Hey, but we're learning. Yes, please. Anyone else? Arcade Ganon? My gosh. Arcade Ganon. Are you going to learn something or not? And, unfortunately, we can't go advanced, which is just 
which sucks so much. So we're done with the robots for now. That is something I would say needs to get looked at. Because this is not very good for that if it's going to be like this. Um, take one of you guys out because you're still sucking on too much supply here. Take you go up there as well. Because they're attacking just like a bunch of beasts. I'm, I have a good feeling they already, you know, raised the conscription level at least once. Five, well, maybe not. They're about at 5,000, 4,000. Jesus. Get on in there, boys. I'm glad I made infantry. Oof. Because we should be getting a ton of air XP at this point. Bomb the living crap out of them. And they should be completely out of equipment. I'm sorry this is taking, this is taking a while. They actually stole some of our equipment. How dare you? Oh, absolutely dare you. Yeah, look at all So many zeros. They have a little bit of support equipment left. But once we're done... Because after this offensive, we're probably just going to go ahead and just try to go ham against them. But it is giving us enough time. Okay, so at this point, I'm going to go and stop just making these guys. No. No, we'll still use these guys probably. Infantry, no. No. So we're using that. We're using this. I'm going to make you guys at least 20 combat with 15. Oh, wait. Security robots. Combat robots. Combat width is 3. You guys' combat width is... Two. Oh, security robots are not as good though, because they get way less armor. Speed goes down though. Oh crap! Which one should I use? You actually get more. No, oh, armor doesn't go up as much though, which is really disappointing. These guys have way more soft attack. Hmm. We can make a 20 combo. This is really not ideal how to do it like this, but. Combat? Oh, we need to get rid of it. Yeah, we can't really use this one. So that sucks. Um, security robots just. That's disappointing. 17, 17. Yeah, I feel more defense. Let's see. Currently, the hardness is 55. I threw you on there. Hardness goes up just slightly more, probably. Oh, it actually goes down a little bit. Organization goes up to 36.1. Get a little more organization. Same HP. So weight goes... Eh, it doesn't really matter too much. How many do we have in reserve? Support robot... Wait. So, well... Go back and reset. So we got security robots and support equipment. And again, we, of course, we have no extra robots. So we're just going to leave it there for now. I'll deal with this off screen because that's that's really ugly about the how the way it's designed right now. I'm sure New Vegas has got to get an update later on. It has to get an update. Supplies eight out of ten. They're almost done. My goodness, is it ugly? Is it ugly over here? Woof. Sentry bots. I might just use a mixture then. Maybe we'll see. I've never played a New Vegas campaign like this before, where you have security bots, you got combat bots, and then you got light robots. It's very, very odd to me. Very, very odd. We got enough support robots now. Do we have anything else we could throw on our infantry divisions to make them a little stronger? We got anti tank. Might as well throw some logistics on there. Do we have enough? Do we actually have any demos? I don't think I've done demos yet. Demo equipment. We got enough equipment for now. That actually hurt us, though. Maintenance uh, for these light robots for now. Let's just throw on the maintenance companies. Throw on both this and maintenance, that'd be kind of nice. That'd be good. Rapid prototyping is pretty good. Let's grab some more construction speed, because we can. And let's get our guys up there. Guys should be slightly stronger. We've killed off at least 10,000. Nice. Robo Brain Strategist. Let's go ahead and grab some production expansion. Robots aren't an easy thing to make, and expanding our facilities further will allow us to focus on cranking them out en masse. As well as grab some long-range radio. Logistics 3. Let's grab more maybe maintenance 3? Yeah, why not? We're already using it, right? So we might as well. I'd love to attack. I just don't know if we'll do that well. Using infantry to attack is not a great idea. Then again, we do have a lot of planes here. Then again, those planes, not super great. We need more planes. Definitely more planes. We need more. We just need a bigger industry. If we try to attack, could we win? The supply right now is relatively okay-ish. If we were to attack, could we win there? We 
We might just be able to. Especially with logistics, especially with anti-tank. What do we force the attack? Or, or at least, you know, they did aggressive expansion. What do we have? The robots come on in. Because at this point, I don't think th these guys can really do much else. I mean, they still have some manpower and stuff. They have 42 divisions. Okay, they still have a little bit of manpower, That's, but they're running out. They got a few robotic you know, pieces of equipment, but everything else, except for support equipment, is pretty much gone. So, the more damage we can do right now, the less they can do later on, probably. Okay. No, just help it here, guys. Yeah, let's take that off. Lose is gone. I'm sorry, it's taking a while. It's just there's nothing I can really do about it. Come on. Twelve thousand losses. As long as we keep increasing their losses, that's the most important thing. Doesn't what it doesn't matter what it takes. Uh, go and do that. Investigate rumors. I'm done investigating rumors for now. Uh, that's gonna be three hundred anyways. Let's see. Get a good scrap, and they get the Crystal Springs, which gives us quite a bit for factories. Area 51, that's so nice. How much is this? 111. Eh, I don't care, do it anyways. Drop tanks, not bad. Industry, let's grab some advanced tools. Thank you. More infantry could be actually quite beneficial. Nice, we got up here too. Pretty good. Yep, oh, and we have two divisions up here. Again, the supply is just god awful up here. Even though we maxed it out, like, why? Man, that sucks. Get out of here. I want to finish these guys off before we end the episode. That'd be nice. Production expansion, not bad. Securetron deployment line, the PDQ-88B Securetron produced by House Industries supports only the two operating systems. Mark 1 Mark 2. The Mark 1 operating system lacks drivers for the auto repair system and explosive weapons, limiting the robot's arsenal to the building in X-25 Gatling laser and the 9mm machine gun. Not bad. We're almost done with our companies here too so this should be more than good enough now we got to be strategic about this so go ahead and have you guys come up here too you guys tell them off hopefully do well because we still have our airplanes bombing the living crap out of them right now is there oh and arc again finally got an upgrade huh cutting desert fox so be it screw it. we're gonna go with uh as much as i want to do robotics we're gonna keep them on infantry i think that'd be smart to do and you guys come up there now. There you go. Slowly trying to push out of here. Oh boy, is it slow? Actually, what we could do? I should I should have done this way earlier. I, I apologize. Uh, intelligence right around here. Because doing this will help us uproot their entrenchment. I'd love to go here to here, so we can do more damage, but we'll see what happens. Good, 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 good. <sighs> Wish we could get another area where we could just take them out more quickly. There's too many guys there, though. Uh, this is too many open areas. Train doggies, might as well. God, this is not great. Help them out. The infantry are definitely not feeling good right there. That's good, that's good, that's good. Arcade Ganon, I never thought he's going to be one of our offensive leaders, but you know what? He's doing all right. And we're done with that for now. Good. Oh, there, now they're attacking us. What do we force the attack? Oh, that's such a bad idea. An incredibly bad idea. But it could prove useful, maybe. Yeah, especially if you win, you might be able to do it fairly well. Spread out a little bit more. Man, attacking up here is crazy. I mean, there should be at least 15,000 dead. We're getting close. Getting very close. 15,000. And grab some of this. Decryption is very nice. These guys should be dead very soon. Even though they keep throwing more and more soldiers in. Are they out of manpower yet? They're getting there. They have about 1,000 left. Got some bricks. Grab some electrical extraction, which would be a smart thing to do. Alright. So we're looking a little thin here. And my goodness. The choke point down here is god-awful. Even at maxed out infrastructure, it still ain't good enough. I don't understand that at all. How? Incoming infrastructure. Well, yeah, maybe we should improve this as well. So, so we could try and deployment line. At least this time, by using infantry, we actually get a 
spend some time making our robots or making more robots. So, rapid response network, might as well. If the Mojave New Vegas is due to survive, we shall need to be able to use or defend any corner of it at a moment's notice. This means investing in crumbling infrastructure, which actually is not crumbling at all, since we have I've been slowly improving and improving, improving, improving. Nice. Alright, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Can we at least please get like old bishop or something? Well, I think we'll attack here next. I think that'd be a smart thing to do because we've got too many guys here. Help them out. You guys help them out as well. So we can spread the supply issues. Or spread out our supply, really. Anything else here? Scanners found something good. Special forces. We still might use them. Let me know if I should use special forces in the comments below just because I'm open to them. We're already using infantry. But obviously it's not going to be the main part of our forces. But it might. It could be. Good. Supply should get slightly better here. Yep, let's grab some pulse code modifications. Not bad. And unforeseen catastrophe. They don't like me poking out here, which gives us a little bit more strength just because they love attacking. Let them attack, let them lose their lives. That's good, 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 good. I, I, hold on. This this is not part of this tile. This is part of this other tile. Hmm. Get out, son. Oh, look at that. Oh, they're not doing well. Love it. Crush them. Good, good, good. Nice. I'm going to take two of you to go right here. If you can, maybe. Maybe not. Oh, yes, no. No. Yes, no. No, yes. Hold. Now, just hold for now. We're going to get up there. I'm going to go ahead and take... That would be so nice to grab all those extra five civilian factories. Purebred mutts, not bad. Grab even more logistics. I mean, it, it's ridiculous how bad it is up here. Hey, no, no issues there. Nice, finally. Now we're gonna we have more time to screw up our supply issues. Then I really want to attack there. Advanced tools, not bad. Let's grab some industrial fertilizer. For the love of God, I just want to win this war now. You guys should easily be able to win this one. I'd love to encircle, but we just don't have enough divisions here to attack and do well. So. Yeah, there's no excuse for losing here. We should be able to win. Maybe not easily, but we will be able to. And... We won 69. Nice. Very nice. Push him back out. 42. Pulse scope modifications. Grab some radar, because that could definitely help us out with learning where enemies are at. Oh, uh, you're immediately attacking, huh? Alright. Not a bad idea. Alright, so they gotta have less than a thousand manpower now, right? Oh, they're out. That's the case. They're out. You're done. Go. We're done waiting around here. Rapid Response Network. H and H Grand re Reopening. H and H Tools Factory was a house's family owned company. Robert House's half brother, Anthony House, cheated the inheritance of the company from Mr. House when the father died. Anthony House suffered from paranoia, which led to increasingly se severe security measures at the company between twenty 2020 twenty and twenty twenty three. That's taken this long to get the doors open once again. Nice. I'll help them out too. They're, they're struggling, so help them out. You gotta help them out too. Kill them all. Kill every single last putrid one of them. 75 jumps up to anything else, maybe? 78. Alright, not as much as I wanted, but that's alright. I don't care what it takes. You're gonna kill every single last one of them. They're out of manpower. They can no longer reinforce themselves with men, so. And they've got to be doing last stand here, right? No? Come on. Drop them, drop them, drop them. Okay, RK again. You learning anything? Take out Ranger Citadel. They wanted our booties. We'll take them out too. <sighs> there you go. We got them. Oh, they're going to war with each other too. Nice. Go in. You guys go in with them. They cannot reinforce. They're completely out of manpower. And again, I think we're completely out of plans at this point, so. Come on, man. This is so dumb. Why is it taking so ungodly long for this? 
they should not be able to reinforce. I get it, that infantry is weak. I should really put demo equipment on here too, but still. Uh, I'm going to go for more political power. I'll get more support. I did political power last time. Good. Kill them off. Kill every single last one of them. No mercy. They're done. Awabawos? Cool. Yeah, this has definitely been a much bigger struggle than I thought it would be. Usually, whenever I play as New Vegas, it's a lot of fun. But this one, it's still fun, but it's a little more aggravating because I've chosen steps that made it more difficult for us, so... Alright, at this point, how is supply? Yeah, the supply has been a massive issue for me in this one here, so... I'm gonna have you guys go right in the center. And actually, look at that. Not bad, we actually have a surplus! Electrical extraction, we're gonna grab some brick housing. We've got some better than that. Let's grab some of that. Um... Yeah... This is definitely mixed back. I think the white legs are losing slowly, so we'll see what happens. Are the robots here? Give them five seconds. Five, four, three. Economic resurgence. Great. Two, one. Go. Go, go, go. You guys should be able to win in this one. Oh, oh god. What the heck? No. Hell no. What the heck? No. Are you kidding me? You're going to lose because you just want to sit on your butts. Go, go, go. You're going to fail everyone here because you just wanted to sit there. That's so stupid. Well, at least Arcade Ganning is learning how to be an attacker. Alright, anything here? Anything here? Come on, guys. Yeah, at least we're getting to the focus stream. Zaps Neon Signs, once a major sign manufacturing company, Zaps Neon Signs once even lit up the Las Vegas Strip itself. Now they're more known for being used as an impassable perimeter wall. Sounds good to me. My gosh, it's such a little command power. Oh, I would love to force it more attacks. Yeah, I apologize for this, for realsies, though, for, I mean, this is taking way too long. I mean, this is ridiculously, just, it's just stupid. How, how long is this taking? It should not have taken this long. It really just should not have. Additional fertilizer. Uh, we'll go with this one. Or power tools, which actually, that would actually be really good for power generation. Yep, they're doing last stand again. Well, there's no genocide button, but if there were, I might just do it against the rangers here. And just in case, yeah, it looks like the ages are doing quite well, so... Oh, the Legion's Outriders. Ooh. Oh. Oh, don't tell me they're joining the Legion. They might be. That would not be very good for us, but we're still protected against them for now, so... Oof. This has been a difficult war, I'd say, to say the least. Hey, at least these guys are cut off. Kill every single one of them. No mercy. We've lost, what, 2,000, 3,000? We've lost about 3,300 versus not nearly enough. Find their population to get rid of them. It's TNO time. It's gamer time for this for these this region. But at least we got the resources. That's probably the most important thing. Look at that. Yep, they're doing the last stand again. They literally just died there. The AI loves it. They it, they really, really love it. But I apologize for real, like I said before. Like, that took way too long. But I hope you enjoyed this episode. Regardless, if you did, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow when we will hopefully go to war with one of these two big beasts. And making ourselves look okay. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.